How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today's Premiere Pro quick tip is going to be about time code reference or more, more precisely sequence time code reference playhead location. I know. Basically, it's the little number on your timeline that tells you where in the timeline you are. But the thing is, a lot of people who are starting out with editing don't realize that's not just for reference. You can actually interact with that time code. And a particular area of interest for interacting with that time code for me personally is when I'm doing animating in After Effects that I have to sync with something in Premiere Pro. Now, After Effects is fantastic for animation, but for audio editing, it's pretty crap. Whereas Premiere Pro is pretty crap for doing any animating, but it's pretty decent for audio editing. So to bridge those two together, using that time code for me is absolutely vital. Now I've got a bit of client work loaded up. It's an animation, which is using Premiere Pro for the audio design and After Effects for all of the actual animation. I'm gonna show you how I use that time code information to flip back and forth between the two programs to really save myself a lot of time to get a very precise location where I need to be. Okay, so here's my sequence. This is my dynamically linked composition from After Effects. This is my playhead position time code reference location thing. I could just keep adding words to that. But as I say, a lot of people don't realize they can actually interact with this. You can click on it. You can input your own time code. You can copy this time code to bring it over to After Effects. So for example, let's say exactly on this frame, I want to be able to go to After Effects and change the color of that it's not actually something that I do in this animation, but just for the sake of showing you an example. So our playhead is at 24 seconds and 10 frames in. So if we head over to After Effects and type in 2, 4, 10, that's going to bring us exactly to that point. Now you can either copy and paste it so that you just, you just have to literally copy and paste, or you can just memorize the time code because After Effects and Premiere Pro both work in a minutes, seconds and frames uh, layout for time codes. So you don't even have to put in the, the, what is it? Colon, not a semicolon. No, it's just a full on colon there. You don't even have to put in the colon or any of the, the punctuation in that time. You just literally have to type in the numbers in a sequence. So it's minutes, seconds, frames. And so just like that, I've got my playhead exactly where it needs to be to the frame so that I can make those changes and they will then reflect in Premiere Pro. Now let's imagine that we're in Premiere Pro and we haven't got this uh, composition starting at the zero mark. So the time code here would no longer be accurate to the time code that's in After Effects. So let's just go ahead and cut that there and uh, let's bring this up here. So now this composition is starting at 13 seconds and one frame in Premiere Pro. But in After Effects, this marker here, this edge here is actually zero, 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 right? Uh, because it's the beginning of the composition. So let's say that, you know, at 17 seconds and two frames in Premiere Pro, the music has a sudden beat that I need to match something an event in the animation to. Well, in that case, what I would do is just select the clip in the timeline. I would hit F on my keyboard over the frame that I specifically want it to show. And that will load that clip up in my source monitor on the frame with the playhead on the frame that I selected. It'll even show you the in and out points of that particular event, that particular clip in that timeline. But because I hit F on that specific part of that timeline, it has shown me exactly that frame match. F is to match frame, by the way. It'll show me that exact frame match within the source monitor. So then I can see what the actual time code is for that clip in the source monitor. So I can see it's at four seconds and one frame. So then I can head back to After Effects and I can type in 0401. And there we go. This has brought me to that four seconds and one frame that we have that we want to match our, our beat to in uh, Premiere Pro. So here then I could change my animation to do something like I don't know, a new solid appears or something animates. But the point is that it's very, very quick, very, very easy to get it frame precise just by using that time code. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip for Premiere Pro. Let me know in the comments or send me a tweet at DoD Media if you have any other recommendations or suggestions for quick tips for Premiere Pro that you'd like explained. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.